I'm Craig Horbinski, and I'm the Director of Neuropathology at Northwestern Medicine. Northwestern Medicine is one of the first institutions in the country to offer methylation profiling on a routine clinical basis for the workup of brain tumors. Methylation profiling at Northwestern Medicine is a very powerful new molecular diagnostic technique that allows us to more accurately diagnose and prognostically stratify tumors that are otherwise very difficult to classify by traditional methods. Traditional pathology is based on what the tumor looks like under the microscope. And that is still a very powerful and important part of our workup of brain tumors. But methylation profiling is a big step forward in terms of diagnosing these tumors because it goes further beyond what we can see by the light microscope. It examines the methylation pattern of the genome within that tumor. And it turns out that each different kind of tumor has its own unique methylation pattern across its entire genome, kind of like a fingerprint. And so two different tumors that look, can look very, very similar under the microscope and are very hard to distinguish from each other can have very, very different methylation profiles or methylation fingerprints. And when we follow those patients over time and see how they do and how the tumors behave, we see that the tumors do behave very, very differently according to the different methylation fingerprints. Methylation profiling has a great advantage because it's basically three tests in one. So it allows us not only to ascertain the methylation fingerprint of a given tumor, but it also gives us whole genome copy number status, which itself is very diagnostically useful. And it gives us information on a specific gene called MGMT, which me its methylation status is also very important in predicting response to certain chemotherapies. Methylation profiling is extremely helpful on a routine basis for all cases because it generates a lot of clinically useful data in each case. Even when the diagnosis is thought to be one thing, it can either confirm that diagnosis or in many cases it'll suggest, no, it's actually a different subtype of the tumor that you had in mind or it's an entirely different tumor altogether, which may require different treatment. We had a case of a four-year-old girl who had a brain tumor that looked very serious by radiology, and under the microscope it appeared to be high grade. We really couldn't tell what it was. Sequencing really didn't help a whole lot. Uh, copy number analysis a little bit, but not fully. It was only by methylation profiling that we were able to determine that the tumor actually was an astroblastoma, but very different than the original diagnosis that was favored, which was a pendymoma. So the prognosis as a result is has been, we think, improved because most patients with astroblastoma actually do fairly well, and her treatment is going to be completely different as a result. Methylation profiling is clearly the way of the future. It's the next big thing in the diagnosis of cancers. And the more cancers we diagnose by methylation profiling, the bigger that library becomes. We've got data now on thousands and thousands of cases, mostly brain tumors, but this will work for sarcomas, this will work for metastatic cancers of unknown origin, different other kinds of rare neoplasms, leukemias, lymphomas, all sorts of different tumors and different neoplasms will be amenable to methylation profiling and we'll discover new subtypes, we'll discover new entities. As time goes on, we envision pretty much every cancer being worked up by methylation profiling. 